fear, the first emotion instilled by the world. A word more lethal than the disease itself. A disease so undefiled that it laid its claws upon mankind, devouring them physically, emotionally and financially. Cancer. For years, the medical fraternity have strived to conquer this disease and with the advancements in the field of oncology, we can now proudly say, there is a can in the word cancer. And yes, it can be conquered. Father Muller Charitable Institution, a name that has ignited hope to millions of people from the last 135 years, saw the inception of its oncology center a decade ago with the purpose of providing global standards in oncological care. Inaugurated on December 9, 2007 by the late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, former President of India and blessed by the Bishop of Mangalore and President of Fathomar Charitable Institution, Rev. Dr. Aloysius Paul de Souza, our Father Muller Oncology Centre has seen a progressive growth ever since to reach a pinnacle of success as is evident today. Cancer being a disease of complexity by itself no single modality of treatment could possibly suffice. Therefore, at Father Muller Oncology Center, the decisions on patient care and the best individualized plan of management for our patients are taken in a multidisciplinary tumor board, which consists of a highly trained team of radiation oncologists, medical oncologists, and surgical oncologists along with a dedicated diagnostic support offered by the departments of radiology and pathology. We aim to provide the best treatment for every patient in concordance with the international guidelines of oncological practice. The Department of Radiation Oncology is equipped with a 6 MV medical linear accelerator which effectively provides conformal radiation therapy techniques such as 3D CRT, IMRT and IGRT. Our setup is equipped with a floor-based exact track image guidance system, the first of its kind in India and second in Asia, that enables precise tumor tracking and delivery of IGRT or image guided radiation therapy. In order to improve the accuracy of radiation treatment delivery, the patient is first strictly immobilized with a thermoplastic mask and is subsequently made to undergo a CT scan for the purpose of treatment planning. Our team of radiation oncologists plan the treatment for each patient by taking into consideration the natural history of the underlying disease the high-risk features in the patient and their ability to tolerate the treatment, thereby enabling a treatment plan that is catered to the individual patient. Our treatment planning system is the most sophisticated FDA-approved Eclipse version 13 that helps in the generation of the best conformal plan with least toxicities to the patient. Our team of medical physicists with a deep knowledge in the intricacies of radiation physics ensure the generation of the best conformal plan. Following which, the delivery of radiation therapy to the patient is ensured with impeccable accuracy by a highly trained team of radiation therapy technologists.
in the year 2008, the department became equipped with a HDR Iridium 192 source brachytherapy unit, following which brachytherapy procedures were routinely performed, such as intracavitary brachytherapy and vaginal brachytherapy for gynecological cancers, interstitial brachytherapy for gynecological, head and neck, breast cancers, and in soft tissue sarcomas, intraluminal brachytherapy for esophageal cancers, and surface mold brachytherapy for superficial cancers. It started out with X-ray based planning using manual digitization in 2008, progressed to the incorporation of CT or MRI volume based planning. In the year 2009, the department saw the intake of the first undergraduate batch of MBSC radiotherapy technology and the year 2010, following a letter of permission from the Medical Council of India, the first batch of post-graduation course in MD Radiation Oncology was started. With a reading room as well as a library facility inside the department, the students are benefited from a perfect study environment for their overall academic development. The administration of chemotherapy is handled by the departments of medical oncology as well as radiation oncology. We have facilities to administer chemotherapy and immunotherapy in our dedicated oncology wards as well as on daycare basis. With the biosafety cabinet installed as per the NABH guidelines, we ensure adequate safety to our healthcare professionals. Our Department of Medical Oncology has conducted workshops for the nursing staff on the insertion of PICC or peripherally inserted central catheter which has the advantage of usage over extended periods of time for the administration of long chemotherapy regimens. Therefore, our department is the only center in Mango City that harbors highly trained nursing professionals for the insertion and maintenance of PICC. Our Department of Surgical Oncology, following a rudimentary start, was soon established as a separate department in the year 2009, with three dedicated high-ended OTs facilitated with state-of-the-art infrastructure, a wide variety of surgeries are performed ranging from skull-based surgeries, organ preservation surgeries, limb sparing surgeries, laparoscopic surgeries and reconstruction procedures with modular processes. The operation theatre is attached to an 8-bedded post-operative ward where the patient is constantly monitored round the clock and is supported mentally and emotionally throughout the period of post-operative recovery. Our team of oncology is supported enormously by physiotherapists, medical social workers, dietitians, speech and rehabilitation specialists and also by clinical psychologists. Regular patient-oriented activities are conducted by these specialists, ensuring a holistic approach in treatment for our patients. Victory over cancer could rank as one among the greatest advances in the field of medicine. Although we have completed a decade and set a benchmark in the same, we at Father Muller Oncology Center have an intensive journey to tread as we dedicate our lives to make cancer a disease not to be feared but to be conquered. <laughs>